What is up, y'all? It is the Sound Alchemist back at it again, bringing you 40 facts on the Warhammer 40k universe. Today, we are diving into more Dreadnought lore. Today, we are looking at the Adeptus Custodes Dreadnoughts. These Dreadnoughts are literally insane. Like, they are the best of the best. They're, they're super awesome looking. Their sculpts are amazing. And that is why I have a collection of these guys. Uh, some of the images that you will be seeing here will be from my personal Celestial Sons, which used to be the 11th Legion, but now due to gameplay and rules-wise and all that stuff, they will now be a successor for the Blood Angels. So without further ado guys, let's jump into the lore behind the Adeptus Custodes Dreadnoughts. The Adeptus Custodes are the personal guard of the Emperor, and in order to keep him safe at all times, they have some of the most powerful weapons and war gear in the entire galaxy. That being said, when a Custodus is wounded in battle, they get interred into a powerful variant of the Contemptor Pattern Dreadnoughts. These three variants are the Contemptor Galatus, the Contemptor Achilles, and the Telamon Heavy Dreadnought. So Contemptor Dreadnoughts are basically a larger and more powerful version than standard Dreadnoughts and they come equipped with a defensive automatic shield generator. They carry a wide variety of weapons such as plasma cannons, conversion beamers, last cannons, etc. But today we will be focusing on the three specific variants of the Adeptus Custodes, beginning with the Contemptor Galatus Dreadnought. The Contemptor Galatus Dreadnought is unrivaled on the battlefield. It's faster, stronger, and better armed than any other Dreadnought of its kind. It is piloted by literally the best of the best of Space Marines, the Adeptus Astartes. This warrior is armed just like the Custodes. They have a sword and a shield combo. So the Galatus has a Warblade, which is a massive power sword that also comes equipped with an inbuilt Infernus Incinerator. This is a flame-based weapon that fires a stream of superheated fire, incinerating the very soul of its enemies. Its shield is basically an enlarged version of the Presidium shield, which is forged from multiple layers of ceramite, as well as having an inbuilt shield generator as well. With these weapons, it reaps countless enemies on the battlefield. Next up, we have the Contemptor Achilles, which houses the broken body of one of the Emperor's personal guard. This Dreadnought's armor and weapons are mastercrafted by the servants of the Imperial Court. During the Horus Heresy, the Achilles was heavily used for its phenomenal speed and strength, and it sent many heretics, demons, and xenos to their doom. One way of delivering death was via its wrist-mounted weapons. They could be equipped with either a Storm Bolter, the Infernus Incinerator, or the devastating Adrathic Destructor. This weapon fires a highly destructive beam capable of ripping apart to the intermolecular bonds of matter, however it is very unstable. But anyway, this weapon is so deadly that even the Adeptus Mechanicus are kept in the dark behind the technology of these Adrathic weapons. However, its main weapon is the fearsome Dread Spear. The Dread Spear is a massive version of the Guardian Spear. This weapon can literally slice enemies clean in two, and when it does come into ranged warfare though, the Dread Spear houses an inbuilt Corve Last Pulsar, which is essentially a very powerful laser weapon. And lastly, we come to the heavy hitter, the Telemann Heavy Dreadnought, which are Sentinels of the Custodes. They stand guard against any enemy, and they are only piloted by the very best warriors of the Adeptus Custodes. These war machines are very, very rare, with only a handful ever being created. This is mostly due to the rare resources needed to build these guys, as well as the heavy labor required to assemble them. Now each one of these heavy dreadnoughts has at least one plate that was handcrafted by the Emperor himself. On the battlefield, this guy is practically unstoppable, for the warrior within is pretty much on the level of that of Primarchs. It hosts a variety of weapons. On one arm, it utilizes the Arachnus Storm Cannon, which is basically a very large Gatling-style laser weapon, while the Iliastus Accelerator Culverin 
fires an armor shredding heliothermic bolt shell. On the other hand, the Tullaman Castus Power Fist is equipped. It is essentially a massive power fist with an inbuilt plasma projector. Plasma projectors are weapons that are normally seen on starships. However, its massive power can be harnessed by the use of the Tullaman's power core. When more ranged firepower is needed, which isn't very often, it can also house a spiculous bolt launcher, which can be mounted on its back. Now, this weapon is essentially a rocket pod that fires cyclone missiles or the apocalypse missile, depending on the enemy that they are fighting. And finally, for more protection, a refractor field is also equipped upon it, further adding to its already resilient body. And with that, that brings us to yet another ending of a lore video. Unfortunately, there isn't too much information out on these Adeptus Custodes Dreadnought variants. And it makes sense because the Adeptus Custodes need to be all secretive so they can better defend the Emperor. But that being said, what do you guys think about these three variants? Which one is your favorite? I like all three of them, but I gotta say the Telemann wins out by a tiny, tiny bit because it's just a freaking hulking behemoth. I mean, it is a huge model and it kind of reminds me of the Hulkbuster a little bit, but uh, that's the only one that I actually don't have. I do have the one with the shield and sword and the one with the lance, but yeah, I don't have the Telemann yet, but uh, hopefully soon, guys. But yeah, let me know what other variants of dreadnoughts you want me to cover we do have a playlist which i will be linking at the end of this video so check it out we have uh, quite a bit of videos in that playlist we cover the uh, castaferum boxy dreadnoughts of 40k as well as some chaos hellbrute variants and whatnot so check that out and let me know what other kinds you guys want me to cover don't forget guys, we do have a Patreon, an Instagram, a Twitter, and a Facebook page. Facebook is probably the best way to get in contact with us and uh, just message us. Uh, in the comments below, again, I, wanna let, I want you guys to tell me what is your favorite pattern of Dreadnought? Is it the Chaplain Dreadnoughts, the Contemptor Dreadnoughts, etc.? And we'll go from there. As always guys, I am the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.